I grew up watching the World Boy films, what, 20, 20, was it 20 years ago? 23 years ago, I think. Um, so I watched uh, World Boy with my brother and my sister, and I'm a Melbourne girl at heart originally. So um, I know all about Chapel Street and Chaplaps and um, the Valiant Paces and Chase's Nightclub, which features a lot in the film. Uh, I actually had my first bartending job there and I used to dance and party there. So um, it was... Um, I was really excited when I heard that I was going to jump on board for this film. So it's a romantic comedy. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen the other Wog Boy films, but it's, uh, you know, set 20 years later after Frank and Steve, um, uh, you know, have, have separated after those uh, previous two films and they reunite and get up to their same antics. So it's... Um, it's a great film with a lot of heart and a lot of laughter. I just, I really wanted to do a comedy. Um, my, my character is sort of the truth throughout the whole film. And I, I'm in a lot of scenes with the boys and a lot of the time it's, it was really hard to keep a straight face on set. But I, I just wanted to do something funny, something that was gonna make me laugh every day. Um, and yeah, it, it definitely did that. It's a melting pot of ethnicities up on screen. When we had the world premiere last Thursday in Melbourne and I just felt it was just such an amazing feeling actually to be standing up on stage and we were all um, from different ethnic backgrounds and you look up on screen and, um, you know, this the same thing and... I think it's it's really important that Australia starts. I think it's it's starting, but I think we could push those boundaries even more. Um, it's I it's it's an honour to me to be able to represent um, people of other eth ethnicities, of sexual backgrounds, anything like that on screen. I love doing that because I think it's important for people to feel included, and that's what this film's about, and that's what it's what it started off as. You know this. Poor little Steve Karamitz is being called the Wog Boy at school. And then he takes that name and he turns it around and he makes it almost something to be proud of. You know, in Home and Away, we'd film, you'd get, say, 45 minutes for one scene, but in film, you get sometimes a day to shoot one scene. Um, and you really have time to research. Um, I mean, not that I had to, I didn't have to research that much because my character was a DJ and I'm a DJ in real life as well. But um, it's just so, oh, it's just such a great feeling as an actor, having time to work on set with things and be able to rehearse properly with the other actors and collaborate with the director. It's just really exciting that there's another Australian comedy film that's come out and I hope everyone goes to see it. And um, it's a breath of fresh air and it's exactly what we need right now, you know, bums on cinema seats and people laughing after a huge two years of lockdowns and... I think it'd be just what the world needs.